Okay, so this is the turn three battle for the HQ company. The There's six lances of us, or six groups of us, attacking the storage facility. And this is the mission I've got to run here. So I'm moving against um, one of the supply units in the actual storage facility. It's a two skull mission. So we're going to be taking that on today. Um, hopefully we do well. So I'm just, I, I couldn't get a city um, attack convoy mission, so I had to... Like I jumped around a fair bit, and all I could get was the uh, um, one in the uh, Highlands, I think it was. I can't remember where it was. But anyway, um, so we're here now. So we're going to take this on. I'm just going to say that these guys are pushing out to as a small counterattack to attack our units. Did a little, little bit of an end run, caught up to the uh, HQ unit. So we're just going to move up and try and take these guys out. I have no idea what to expect here. It's a two-skull mission. Now it's not against... Um, let's move you up here. It's not against um, uh, House Liao. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a Liao mission or a Great House mission. I ended up having to take a uh, a mission against. Um, let's get you, mine layer truck over to here. Consider me there. I had to take a mission against um, Elysian Fields here. So, depending on how many units the enemy has. They've got a support lance in the convoy. If they've got one extra lance, then we'll say this is a two skull mission. If it's just a support lance in the convoy, like eight units, then we'll just say this is a uh, one and a half skull. So they do have two support lances. Okay, so this will we'll keep this as a two skuller then. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, don't know what they're going to expect here. So we've got. Wield APC, Hunchback, Prowler, Scorpion Laser, Ignis. So we're going to do, on turn one, oh, we got something over here too. A Hunter. Looks like he's stuck on the cliff there though. We're going to go ahead and start laying minefields here. Do that. We got a crap ton of mine dispensers, so I'm going to try, hopefully this first turn we can get most of them out. The exception of maybe the mine layer truck, I may want to split them up. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, let's get you to here. Mine layers only. Drop it in the same area. Oh, we got a blackjack. Another hunchback. Okay. Definitely a two skull. Primary target is taking damage. Is it? Well, isn't that interesting? All out of short range missiles. Mostly miss me. If I can lay... What was that? Looked like it might have been a fire starter or something, but... Yes, boss. Uh, let's get you up... Here. Roger that. So they can't retaliate. This thing's got almost, like, no armor. So I can't, uh, risk too much. Let's go with these guys. And put them... Can we get them here? We can. Let's get them right here. Roger that. We got a couple left here, I think. We got our hatchetman and our other javelin to go. Ooh, that's a thick spread. It's all like right where they are. Beautiful. So, and who do we got left? Kapinga. Kapinga. Put you right there. Go with the ten. Turn these guys off. Gonna put it up a little farther, like right here. I know it seems like a waste to start, but I want to make sure the convoy's got to come through all of these. And the more there is on a longer pathway, the greater chance we'll do more damage. Uh, let's not get too the, too far up there. Can we still hit this with a mine dispenser? I think we can. Uh, maybe not. Let's go here and make sure we can do it. So we're going to back up after this turn. We got a nice little crest there. Gonna back up and let them come to us. We'll put this guy right in here. Now I got two 15s left on the truck. No SRMs remaining. That's a nice little mine. <laughs> they gotta come right down that road. We'll get a little early damage in here on first on the first turn, but we got a bit of protection. So he took a bunch of damage. Not the greatest amount, but it's enough. There's another hunchback back here. What, what is this guy? 
line holder. So yeah, Panther. Oh, they got like half decent. They got three hunchbacks. So this guy took about maybe thirty on his legs. Really isn't Awaiting all that order. much. So the first part of this battle is probably going to be a little uh, cat and mousey, but I'm okay with that. We're outnumbered here, two to one. So once we start bringing down their their um, convoy vehicles, hopefully the mines do enough damage and we just have to pop them a few times to take them out. But we gotta, uh, yeah, right into the mines, please. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, see, they're gonna want that truck. He's taking off this turn. We're all gonna back up. I'm gonna try and make it so that it's like really difficult for like maybe one or two guys at a time that can see us. Yeah, yeah, right through all the mines. Enjoy that, baby. Only 19? That seems like it was a ripoff. Damage is light. Really? That's it? I know it's a percentage per hex, but that was a lot of hex. Oh shit. That was a lot of hexes he traveled. It's okay, damage is light. So this guy's got like no armor. Should be able to take him out. Worst case scenario, we bail out of here. Don't know what that guy's got. Scorpion laser, has got light armor. Should be able to pull him out easily. The this figures it has to be the uh, missile one. Commander. All right, let's minimize what they can do, or at least try to. Can we get it's too far and I can't turn? Too far and I can't turn. That gonna be enough? If they go up the hill, they'll be able to shoot me. Um, let's go this way. I'm telling it. Yes, I am. This is gonna be a tricky one because I want them to come through the mines, but depending, like, I don't have much room to move right back here. here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's walk it back. Whoops, let's not take that down. And yeah, let's go after this truck here. Wow, really? We've only got a certain number of turns, so let's not waste it. Keep both javelins together. That's enough of a movement. We should be okay back there. There. We got another guy at the back too. I gotta see what that guy is. Wish they didn't have so many lerms. That was a fire starter that I saw. Goblin LRM. Yes, keep going through there. What the hell was that? Tried to right-click on this guy and it just went all the way across the map. Yeah, see, there's the second run. Another 30 at least. So that's okay. If we can get them bouncing around in there, Ready to rock. that's good news for us. Um, put you over here. All right, let's move. We'll see where they go this turn. I gotta get my truck out of there. Goes on 15, so it's not too, too bad. Okay. Okay. It's a 5J version. Once again, doing about 30 or 35 damage. Beautiful. Receiving you. I need you to save these mines, Bubba. Get back here. That's going to be the um, the kicker placement, I think, once we get these vehicles gone.
That hunter just got a good 13 turns of firing, I think. I think he's got a double load of LRMs if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, let's not go... Let's go here. On my way. Double time. I gotta get- I gotta keep my evasion up, so I may have to bounce back and forth across the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. That probably got opened up on one of the sides. Is that why he stopped, or is he just slow? He's just slow. Pretty close, though. Once they get through the minefields, though, it's gonna be it for them. Yes. Enjoy it. That weren't nothing. It was something. Okay, I think we should be able to take the two lead vehicles out this turn. Ooh, he's got the internal structure, it looks like. These LRMs are gonna murder us. <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Wish I had LRMs with, uh... It's not a bad spot there. What's your side like? Pretty badly damaged. That's probably a kill right here. Can I get in the trees? Are they gonna be able to see me? That's the question. I think we're okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I think I'll be okay. We have a bit, a bit of evasion. We'll be in the trees. Good range. I think we'll be fine. Hopefully we kill this guy. Yep. Target damage. Concentrate your I want to save my tandem rockets for emergency. We're not going to be in range really to use them effectively this early on, so... That's just asking to get killed. Um, yeah. So we got a nice big chunky hill here. Gonna move into here, Embrace. I got you. And then... Standing by. You... See if we can draw them out a bit. I'm gonna move up here. This thing's okay for armor. And it's got good speed so we can get out of here next turn. We're gonna move in and take a pot shot at this guy. That's pretty good chances to hit. Um, how's this thing doing for armor? It's pretty good. So we're not gonna go crazy on it. We'll just fire what we have here. Nice. Good damage. That's gonna hurt. It is. And you're direct fire. I probably should have saved you, but let's just move to here. Brace. Yeah. Now, um... Let's hug this hill. Location confirmed. And then we're gonna brace. I want these guys to come down this road. Come and get me, boys. Yes. Enjoy those mines. 34 damage. How's this guy doing now? Eh. He's taking a lot of his armor off. Commander. Now the question is, is do I drop one right in here now? If I can. I don't know if I can. Wait. Right there. If I put... Can I target it? I have no way of knowing if I can target it from there or not. It's not going to show me. This really exposes me though. <sighs> Am I far enough back? Thank you. 
On the move. Yeah, I wish me luck. Oh shit, it won't, uh... Do I have to... Well, fine. I'm okay with that. No, that was perfect, buddy. That was almost 100% perfect. As long as that guy stays, like, at long range, and as long as he gets bad sensor checks, we should be good. Excellent. Waste those missiles. What are we on? 14? So this guy's still got to go. That's the panther that's doing I don't know what back there. Damage, damage, damage. These guys still all have to go too, right? Ah! Losing armor. I knew they would probably try and shoot at him, but I just didn't think they would be that accurate. Ooh, we took a lot of damage. He's into internal structure. Yeah, shit. Oh, still going. He blown past my armor. Yes. Okay, the mine layer truck's gonna. He's got one last hurrah. He's got one last hurrah. Let's get into here. Use everything on this guy. Um, let's leave the six off. We've only got a certain number of rounds for it. We'll fire the rest, though. Yeah, there you go. Three down. Crawler destroyed. You got that right. I'm listening. It did not target you. It's back up to I think here, since they're all up on the hill. Gonna brace in here. Come and get me, boys. Yes, come on. I got stuff right there here. waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Stay in the trees. We're going to move Run over to here. That. Take advantage of this shot right here. Let's not hit our own guy, hopefully. Unload on him. Here we go. There we go. Alright, now we have the option to get out of here, but where do we have to go? Who, where do we have to leave? Oh, it's right here. Ha <laughs> ha, we can bail anytime we want. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even check that when we started, so I had no idea where our bailout pro uh, protection was. Yes. Yes. Orders. Brace it that'll up. Keep our heat down. That'll keep them. <laughs> that'll keep from them from destroying us. All right, Kapinga, for hammer. To go. Uh, where do we want to put you? Do you want to launch another one up there? Let's turn. Well, we'll leave our side to him like this. Got the most armor. On the move. And let's get this last 15 out of here. Up to where the most amount of mechs are. Taking the shot. These guys over here I think we can handle. Reporting negative damage. If these guys all drop from I mines, of FRMs. then we got the line holder, which shouldn't be too, too bad. The hunter, the scorpion at the back, which should be easy to kill. Ah, screw you. I am taking critical hits here. Yeah, you are. 
Commander. Taking one for the team. Now, uh, do we want to chase those guys down or we just pull back? Do I want to give them another target to shoot for? That's the question. How much armor do you have on the front? What's the back? It's actually pretty good. Let's go here. Copy that. It's not the ideal place, but it'll give those other mechs, little LRM mechs and stuff, somebody else to shoot for that's got at least a half the amount of armor. Then we can get this truck the hell out of here. I do have additional parts to assemble the iron layer truck, but um, not where we're currently stationed. Ah, crap. Well, hopefully we didn't lose it. It did its job, though. It's probably going to be responsible for killing most of these mechs. If not directly, then definitely indirectly, because once these guys drop... Like, well, we're just going to be picking some up. legs off here or there, probably. Come on. Just got to withstand the damage for a little bit here. Oh, you're gonna get some now. Yes, you are. Mine holders moving into the mines. Not gonna be getting any Frankies out of this, but Commander. Um Do I really want to shoot at anybody? Wait. Who had the damage to the front? Did I see a vehicle with damage to the front? That guy. I hate for this to be so boring, but like what's yep. there's no point in shooting if I don't if I don't have to. They're not going to engage, and that's yes, that's the fault. I, I, I kind of get it, because the AI is like, you know, the people who did the AI or revised the AI are like, yes, let's not make it so that they uh, just willy-nilly kill themselves. But at this point, that's what they're doing, because they don't, they don't realize the mines are there. All right, let's get you this way. See if we can get a strike off on one of the sides here. See what they how they react to this. Like, they're waiting for me to come up there, not realizing there's mines everywhere, and they're just going to run back and forth waiting for me until they die, and there's not a damn thing that any yeah. of us can do about it. They're just That's what they're going to do. Go to here. Confirmed. We'll just brace it in here. As boring as this is, it's, it is what it is. It's the best way to take these guys out right now. See ya. There's the first one. It would be foolish for me to go up over the hill now. I mean, my crab's got full armor, but it's not going to last very long against three hunchbacks. Once these, once these remaining three guys are down, we'll go. We'll, we'll go and start taking taking them on a bit. But right now, I want to make sure that the uh, we're even here. Come on, go off, blow up. No, 54 mines went off, though. Still doing three damage a pop, though. It's half decent. Okay, so... Yeah, you're like a... Striking a bit away from being killed. LRM-20 is either damaged or not functioning. Let's reserve this. I want to see where they're at here. Roger that. It's going to tank our initiative for next next turn, but hopefully within the two turns these guys are pretty much done up here. Well, not this guy. How's this guy doing? Yeah, he's pretty bad. This guy is not blown through to the inside yet, although it has taken a bit of damage on the inside. Uh, who's up, Slasher? Awaiting orders. That's a side shot. Let's put you here for a second. Can probably get on a strike next turn. 
We'll speed in, take a shot at one of these guys and speed away the next turn. Yes. Guy's finally making his way back. Okay, he's into internal structure. What are your orders, Skipper? So we can't engage those guys. Question is though, if I do that. Let's do this. We got the resolve. I guess I could have vigilanced after I jumped, but whatever. Whatever. Let's take this hunter out if we can. Um, we'll go with everything. We'll inflict as much damage as we can to this guy. Ah, crap. Well, hopefully we inflicted enough that next time he runs over the mines, he kills himself. We gotta get into some trees. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get into trees. Ooh, we can fire at this On this guy over way. here. Might as well take a shot at him. Fire. That should do it though, next time he moves. That should yeah, he should die. Oh, nope, not quite. He stopped moving because he's like Commander. into internal structure. Can I actually get a shot at him? Oh, I can. From right here. Beautiful! Oh, it's a little wait. close, I think, for for comfort. I think that uh, line, line holder will be able to get a shot at me next turn, but I think that's probably worth it. Firing. There you go. Now we've got equal oh, numbers. Vehicle destroyed. At least I think we do. Stop shooting me! You're wrecking my paint job! I'm listening. Yeah, I don't like the idea of coming up here, but... I don't know what my chance to hit would be. 80% on this guy. You know what? Let's, uh... Guy's got two larges. Ah, uh, do I take the shot? Has the line holder gone yet? It goes on eighteen, right? What turn? What turn is it right now? Eleven. So if we go here, heading out. Mm -hmm. Then I go ahead and do this. That could be a kill on this guy. What's the damage on the line holder? That's 48 in the fire starter. 80 on the line holder. He's only got LRM 5s, this guy's got 10s. Let's get rid of him if we can. Come on! Well, when he moves he's done. Right? Yeah. When he moves, he's, it's all over for him. So, we can get Kapinga back rock. now. Oops. Jump. Wait, I can sprint it, right? Let's do that instead. See if we can bring that line holder through the mines. We're gonna come up over here. Not the best place to be, but... Perfect. Sprint it back. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. Just do what I tell you. Do what I tell you and don't die. There's not a lot of mines left up there. Yeah. 
thought so. Not a good shot though, so we're all right. Yeah, we all right. Yeah. Affirmative. We all right. Let's keep this guy interested. Here you go. Let's keep him interested. He's getting hot too. That panther just does not want to fight today. He's like, nope, I'm just going to stay over here, guys. I'll uh, watch the rear. Aye, aye. He's protecting the baggage train or something. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Hmm. This is a weird kind of hill here. I mean, do we need to risk it? Like, if we move up to here, or even here, let's say, those guys are going to move through the mines anyway. Like, I was just thinking that if I move up to there and force them to come through the mines, but they're doing it anyway, I'm just going to back up over here. There's no point in, like, pushing this if the mine's going to do all the work for us. I mean, we're going to have to run clean up in a minute anyway, but still. Yeah, there goes the vehicle. So now we're up. No, we're equal again. Or even again. Even Stevens. Good to go. Now, we got incendiary rockets. How good a chance? 19%. Now nah, we're not going to bother. I will next turn if he decides to overheat himself. I could push this guy, but then I think these guys would probably try and come down and get shots at us. Which I don't want at the moment. Who's going? Blackjack? He's just sitting there. Just sitting there. It's okay. Damage is light. Yeah, we're going to need to go up and probably finish these guys. Wait, is there two blackjacks? Oh, this is the fire starter. Okay. So he's almost lost everything in his legs. Um, all the armor, that is. This guy's one good run away from dying. Two light AC-10s, eh? That's an interesting loadout. See if we can sucker him into some fighting here. Let's move over here. I think we're at a good enough range that he should probably have a pretty low chance to hit if he does to try and engage us. We'll take shots at this guy, though. We're shooting at the gnats above his head. That's what we're shooting at. Just in case you're wondering. We hit all of the gnats. <laughs> that turn. Yeah. Man, I really want to go out and go after those guys. Wait, what turn is this? I have no idea what time they what turn they go on. 64. Let's take it. Let's go after this line holder. Maybe I'm jumping the gun a bit here, but I think we're going to do it. Alright, we got one on. Not bad damage. Take it. Where do we hit? Probably his arm. Yep. Yeah. You know what's good for you. You just stay over there. That guy's got some balls. It's time to use those incendiaries. Light damage, Commander. Commander. Still not as good. Well. Copy that. Don't think he's got the range to try and melee me. If he and if he does, I, I don't think like, he's got what he's. Generated way too much heat. We won't have the movement to be able to do it, but maybe we can take his arm here. Nah, probably not. Let's heat him up if we can. Nice. Solid connection, that one. Head hit on him too. That'll make it even harder for him to hit. Yeah, 
Yes, keep going through there. That thing's doing a lot of damage, man. Skipper. Nope. Do it after we jump. Let's go here. Actually. That's a solid red line, a little better. We're gonna go here. Face the enemies. And we'll Vigilance. Then we'll open up on this guy. Looked like a few arm hits there. Yep, there it goes. Reporting. Critical hit. That guy is not in a good place. Standing by. Can't get another shot on him, though. Let's bring you into here, though. We'll go. It'll put you in strike position if we need to move out and attack those guys. The top right here, or top left, I mean. Uh, yep. Wish I had fire maneuver. But I don't. And I'm in a bad place. Or he's in a good place, one of the two. Or both. No point in pushing this. We aight. We aight. Commander. Let's see if we can get them to close. Yep. They can see me directly. Let's see if they'll close on my position. And we'll unload on this guy. Um, do we use the tandems to try and get the kill here? 105 still. Uh, nah, I think we're okay right now. Wow, that was like no damage. At least he's unstable. Yes, Commander. Now is the time on sprockets. Moving out. When we dance. Here it comes. Panicking. Yeah. There's no way I can get a shot at this guy and not be exposed. There is not. Kind of leaving sprockets out to dry there. Let's get over here. On my way. She should be okay, though, I think. If that guy fires with everything, he's going to shut himself down. Yeah. He's pretty baked, but I think he's probably fine now with heat. No, he's not. Yes, Commander. Okay, get over here to help Sprockets out. Beautiful. Get them MGs in there, maybe get some crits. 88 rounds left, firing. Okay, good damage. That heat spiked up a bit. Beautiful. I feel sorry for those guys, but what do you do, right? Like, they're not going to engage. Not my problem. They have overwhelming firepower. If they push forward, there wouldn't be much I could do about it. Like, without the mines, like, my firepower is very limited. I'm, my, my lance is rated at one skull. So, without the mines, there's not much I could, like, this, these guys should roll over me. If they all just move forward, I would, that would be it. Confirmed. Game over, man. Game over. I'm gonna leave that to... Go up to there. We're gonna leave this spot open for, uh, transport. So, let's hammer this guy. That hit something good. They basically hung that guy out to dry. Right here. Mm-hmm. No point moving. Guess I'll give it to him then. 
Goes to leg, that goes to torso. See ya. Move back here. I'm gonna send the two javelins around to go after that panther, I think. I think we could probably get up this way and go out and go s to chase him down. I'm listening. Let's go up to here. Roger that. I might have. This command console is wonderful in this mech because it just gives me so much resolve. So we're going to go after the leg here. We might get lucky and get it, you never know. Alright, I got one shot on it. Not bad. We'll take it. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? I didn't like it. Commander? You didn't hit a goddamn thing. No, don't take that path. Go this way. Get you over here. We're three on three on this side and two on one on the other side, so let's get you up here. Panther's finally engaging. My old mama can hit harder than that. got diminishing values on these mines because they've been uh, going off so much there's probably very little left up here although this guy's almost done fire starter almost we can get a good side shot on him and the hunchback's almost done right here mm -hmm. let's engage them Roger that let's engage I say we just shoot. Hopefully, hope we get lucky. Nope, did not. Small leg hit though. Scored a critical hit. Order. All right, time to get in this fight. Well, I mean they've been in the fight, but just not like up close. We're in finish off mode now. So it's that fire starter moving. Oof. Hey, yo. You got Let's it. Let's just walk it up, get our stability back. Open up on the fire starter again. We'll fire everything at him. There goes his torso. Who's at his leg? Torso, I think, right? He inflicted some nasty on yeah. some bitch. Critted the torso. Aye, aye. I want that fire starter. I want that fire starter. Don't ever run him any places I can shoot him from. Let's go to there. It's going to give me the most armor presenting, I think, all around the board, and we'll just shoot at this guy. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, son. Wait, do we have a direct line of sight on somebody? We do. Yeah, I've been getting that every once in a while. Where it's been trying to calculate. Won't let me move. Mm, I think we go here. And then we go after the hunchback. It's less of a chance to hit. But we're getting a side shot. So we might be able to get more shots on the leg. With whatever hits that is. Two shots in the leg looks like. Added some heat. You got the large laser. Uh, 
All right, what are you guys doing? Come on. Ow. See what I mean? If these guys had pushed from the very beginning, there's nothing I could do about them killing me. Ooh. That ripped up a bunch of armor. Yeah, if these guys weren't taking so long losing their legs, we wouldn't have to be up here. That guy's almost done. Alright, Knight. Uh, where are you? God damn it. Yeah. Um... Let's just walk it up, get our stability back, fire at this uh, panther. Saving those tandems from when we get close. Not bad. Okay, who's up? Firestarter. Doing so much damage. I should probably just pull back for a second. Barely hit, Commander. Orders. Yeah, we go before both of them, it. so we're gonna back up. Commander. I copy. Yes, Commander. Okay. Commander. Slasher. Can I get a side shot on one of these guys? Going through the minefield there. There we're not. That's actually pretty good. Affirmative. It's not a perfect a perfect a, um, line for attack, but we do have a shot at the side, so we'll take it. There he goes. Engine crit. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Leg gone. Nope. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. That shot went internal. Yeah, through the mines, baby. He's running. Chicken. There we go, finally. Finally. Got a break. Break in the upper Commander. level. Don't want a back shot, I want a side shot. Get up to here. Mm -hmm. They got fresh back armor, but the side shot's going to give me a better chance of taking that leg. Uh, we're using tandem for numbers. I pro well, I probably got enough. Unless, of course, I miss. Aye, aye. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Time to go. <laughs> This guy just looks like he's just running, like, scooting the hell out of there, too. The way that the turret's sitting up on there is so high, it's like, whoa, okay, gotta go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh. Wait, is that in trees? No, that is, though. Confirmed. Take the armor from the trees. I think we just shoot this guy. Here we go. No pulse laser hits, huh? Where did we hit, though? Torso and CT. There goes his leg. Bye. Game over. I wasn't sure if he was going to move. Was not sure if that guy was going to move. Roll to that. All right, bat and clean up. Oh, that guy just, he's gone. Did you hear his engine wind down? The hunchback's done. Firing on 
There goes that guy. Panther left. Enemy down. Okay, yep. there's a solid line. Let's get Location this, take that. Confirmed. So we only lost the mine layer. It's not bad. Hopefully it didn't get completely destroyed. Oh wow, these guys did a wonderful job on this guy. Ooh. Game over for you, buddy. Reporting. Come on, just bail out. Make it easy on yourself and just bail out. You know you don't want to be here anymore. You have been running around like a coward for the whole match. So if you see those guys, I discovered now, those mechs are like running in place like that. The best way to get them to stop is just to hit the space bar. The space bar forces them to um, move faster. So um, it just basically ends their turn. Ends their movement turn, that is. All right, time to use the tandems. There you go. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Mission successful. All right. So I didn't... I think I put my uh, salvage and money at half, so I would make enough money to make my uh, financial report. My, my, my financial report's like 670000 or something. I've been jumping around a fair bit and losing a fair bit of money. So that's actually not bad for what we were facing. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. We get any wounds in the pilots? No. He's the, <laughs> this guy's got five health. So yeah, we didn't get any wounds in the pilots, which is nice. I'm actually shocked that all of my pilots have at least four bars of health except for my leader. That's act I, okay, I didn't even realize that until now. All right. Okay, well, um, I can't put any mechs together because we didn't headshot anybody, so there's no point. Just thinking about future GAC now. I don't think there's really anything amazing that I want other than, like, any kind of headgear, like optics and stuff. Com Suite Double Plus. Just drop that in. It's actually not bad. Plus three re re increased resolve. That's pretty good. Could take this for sea bills, which I probably will. Artemis four, maybe. Oh, I lost the double heatsink. You know what? I did. I don't know if I've got any in storage. Do I? Find out in a second. I got six, so I'm okay with that. Oh, prototype double heat heatsink kit. Can't use it until the uh, scenario is over, but that's actually pretty good. We'll take that. And there's a prototype double heatsink here too. Do I have any of these? I don't. I know I've got a couple of mechs with no um, cockpit. Like either just a basic cockpit or something like that. So... I mean that's kind of nice to put on one of the two um, javelins. Yeah, let's just keep that. It's all for later anyway. I can't install any of it now, but we'll go that route. It's fine. All right, so we did not lose the um, mine layer, which is a good thing. Got three parts. Flamer, exostar laser. Definitely keep that. We can get rid of that. The 180 core XL engine. Cooling. Uh, we'll hang on to those. We'll hang on to that. So that wasn't too bad. That was actually, uh, the mines did all the work for us. That, w that would have been devastating. Like, like really, really devastating. I'm going to have to be careful with the missions I take in the future. I think one and a half skulls is probably where I should be sitting with this lance. Um, the fact that they had an extra defending unit and it was like all medium mechs, that was really tough. But uh, I'm glad we made it through that. Uh, just also so you know, um, I'm not sure if, if any of the guys that are playing are watching this video to the end. I will be mentioning it on Discord. I think I found a solution to the issue with trying to find the right missions. I'm going to be moving, not in this scenario, once the scenario is over, but I'm going to be moving away from the grouped mobile units with X amount of skulls. Um, 
each unit on the battlefield will be a raided skull mission that you can just go and go up against um, and we're going to have options to be able to decrease that skull rating and also the enemy is going to have options to increase that skull rating in battles using artillery and aircraft and things like that right so if they're bringing an artillery barrage down on you like let's say they've got a one skull unit that's going to attack they bring an artillery barrage down on you first and then hit you with an airstrike and then attack with the one skull unit. The one skull unit will be jacked up to two skulls. It'll be half a skull for the artillery and half a skull for the uh, air interdiction. So that firepower will be represented, of course, in the two skull attack because obviously they're not going to have artillery and aircraft that are attacking you. But it's going to give a little bit more dynamic playthrough because each, rather than having a fixed stack of units, It'll be individual units on the board. You can choose who you want to fight. Um, and we'll also have the ability to, to have air interdictions and artillery. So if we've got a big stack on the board, like there's a four and a half skull assault lance moving towards us, we can hit it with aircraft and you know artillery bombardment um, for that turn and then reduce it to a three and a half skull mission so at least somebody's got a good chance of taking them down. You know what I mean? So those are the kind of ideas I'm playing around with. Just basically, you know, the units on the board will be, you know, what you see is what you get. So um, all of the missions are pretty much open. There'll still be fixed gun emplacements where it'll be like a capture base or a recovery or something where there's like a building that you have to go and take over. Um, and then the only other, like, so that's one type of battle where it's like you're basically taking over a building. Uh, or attacking a facility and then the second one is just all any battle that you want to that you want to play and then you know depending like the escort missions and the attack convoy missions there are going to be convoys in the map board um, but they're not going to be like a convoy out in the open they're actually going to be traveling the map heading to specific areas so they'll never be attacking you they're just going to be driving around so if you ambush them, it's generally an, a regular ambush convoy mission. Once again, you can hit them with artillery and interdict them to be able to take them down. They'll generally be heavily defended, um, but that's their like that's their supply chain. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of ideas that I think are going to work a lot better. Um, we're going to have enemy and allied onboard artillery units that have no uh, offensive value. Um, to take on mechs on, in a battle situation, but they're there to interdict the enemy. So if you roll over enemy artillery, you basically remove their ability to, to attack you with artillery, right? Or you can choose to use your air units to interdict their artillery to stop them from firing for a turn. Um, but anyway, I've got a bunch of ideas uh, moving forward after this first campaign's over. Um, it's, there's going to be a major revamp of the rules. Um, and this first scenario is really, really helping to, to narrow those down. Um, things like, because even in this one, there's talks of putting like Frankie mechs together. So if you've taken the head off an enemy mech or the enemy mech was down because the pilot ejected um, and all of its body parts were still intact, you know, we can put a Frankie together in the field where you just jam like an urban mech head on a, on a Victor or something like that. And you're running with a Frankie mech. Like you can't change the weaponry on it. Obviously you want to try and keep it as close to the original as possible. Um, as best you can, but we can we can put Frankies into battle, things like that. So, you know, um, we'll see how it goes after this after this first one's over. Um, I'm hope, oh, hoping some more people might want to sign on, um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please check out any other videos that uh, were, were recorded for turn three. You can find them in the description once you go back to the main video. Um, I know there's at least two others. There might be more. So please go check those out. All right. And until next time, we'll see you later.